Hello everyone. Uh, last year I made a video about how to trade Bitcoin using the stock to flow chart. And uh, the video ended around like one year ago, almost one year ago, yeah. And I wanted to make a follow up on this video, like where we are now and what happened since then and how can we continue using the same technique. So let's configure again this, um, this chart. Uh, let's let's also make a recap on what was the said last year. Uh, basically, every time Bitcoin price is above this line, the stock to flow line, we are in the buy zone. Every time it's below, we are in the sell zone. We also saw that when we are in this halving year, what I call halving is like after halving, we try to hold it because it can go all the time above the line, but we still want to hold it to be in the line. Uh, another strategy that we saw on uh, buying and sell is that we don't want to always sell when it's above the line. We might want to sell when the trend changes. So here, for example, uh, when we start seeing lower highs, it means that the trend is changing and we want to probably start selling. Same below the line. We might want to buy it right below the line. It's fine. Uh, but we might want to see when the trend starts changing. And when we see higher lows, that's when I actually personally would start entering. But it works anyway, just following the above and below the line. We just lose a little bit the overshoot, and but it's okay. So the video ended around here. Let's zoom in. And let's see what is going to happen next according to this uh, stock to flow. So the video ended uh, around here. We were below or we were going higher, higher, or we were going in a in uptrend. And yes, yeah, so if we would follow that uptrend uh, theory, we'd get into here and then we would change again. So Bitcoin would be above the line. We would start looking into where is the, where is that are the lower highs happening, or we could just sell it right away. We can do any of the, the ways. But yeah, if we see here, okay, we have 10K here, and then a bit of 9K highs here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not going on the higher. So we would probably start selling, but it doesn't matter that much where we would sell as long as we do it above the line. All right, and then, we we see that it crossed the line here again. It went to 3k. I don't see. I don't know if we can see it here, but it was probably the lower of the day. It was not the close. So yeah, it went to 4.9k, and then yeah, it started to do higher lows again. Yeah, we probably if I would follow the strategy of just looking, waiting for the uh, trend to change, I would probably get in somewhere here. So 7k. And then, okay, higher higher lows. So the low is around 6.6 .6 and the previous lows were 6.4. Was once 5.8 there. All right, so I think this would be great. At least we would see, we probably would see already here that they were doing higher lows. So I would probably have been already here. But anyway, we are about below the line. We are in a good place to buy. Any place here would be good. Then we go to the above the line. The line. There is also one or two days. Yeah, it's just one day below. Doesn't matter that much. We are still above. So this is a place we would think about selling it. But as I said before, the halving happened around here. So when we are in the halving line, we don't want to trade it or we don't want to sell it. We want to hold it. And then. If we would just join or enter the 7K uh, and we would respect the line, we would probably sold here and then we would at least start buying on a trend change and the trend started to change here. So line K, the low is again 9.1. Okay, it looks like this is an uptrend, 11K, good price to enter. But if you also follow the rule that you don't sell on the alving here, it's fine. We are both winning. Okay, we are still below the line. We go below, a lot below. 
and we want to hold it, hold it. Okay, now it crossed the line, but the rule says when we are in the halving here, we want to hold it. Anyway, you can still sell it if you decide so, but I would wait for the trend to reverse. We are still in a half trend. I don't see any lower highs happening. So what happens next, right? That's the question. And so according to this chart and according to S2, to S, we can do two things. We are in the halving here, we can hold it until here, decide here. We are above the line. If you want to just respectfully follow the, li follow the lines, we should start looking for an exit. And as soon as it crosses again below the line, we enter. But my, my, what I will do is looking for the, app, the trend to change. So something like this, if it ever happened. If we look back, for example, here it crossed up, or yeah, here it crossed up, then it went back below. But if you hold it, you will be fine. And that's how I would trade it. I will definitely hold it. I'm not going to sell anything until here. I will probably look at the line just to be more uh, careful on if I buy or not more. But yeah, I will just follow that. So I'm going to probably make a follow up video to see if this technique worked or not, because, you know, any technique can fail. And let's see what happens. I will probably do the video around here or anywhere in this line. So we can see what happened here. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys are making money with Bitcoin.